Thanks for joining me today at InvestorIdeas.com Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, looking at today's problems and solutions for the future. I'm your host, Don Van Zandt, founder of InvestorIdeas.com, and hoping to share our way of making a difference in climate change. Good morning. As you drink your daily glass of water, I want this podcast to be in your thoughts throughout the day. Dow Inc., NYSE, D-O-W, is a name most of us know. Dow had sales of approximately $57 billion in 2022 and is a large producer of plastics, including polystyrene, polyethylene, polythylene, polypropylene, and synthetic rubber. It is also a major producer of ethylene oxide, various acrylates, surfacants, and cellulose resins. Dow is ranked fourth in terms of the top 100 water polluters, according to the Political Economy Research Institute. But here is where it gets interesting, and you may want to spit out that water. From news this May, Dow has been named a supplier engagement leader for addressing climate change for the second consecutive year by CDP, a global nonprofit that runs the world's environmental disclosure system for companies, cities, states, and regions. In 2022, Dow achieved an A score for climate change for action in the supply chain and earned its place once again amongst the top rated companies featured on CDP's Supplier Engagement Leaderboard. This score stands along Dow's A rating from CDP for climate, forest, and water. Water? Are you sure? Water? Am I missing something here? Is this a Charles Dickens sequel as a tale of two companies? Let's say it again. Dow is ranked fourth in terms of the top 100 polluters for water. From their website, they say addressing climate change is one of the major challenges to achieving a sustainable future. As both a major user of energy and a producer of technologies that are essential to a lower carbon economy, we have a responsibility to act. We're committed to working with our suppliers, customers and value chain partners to ensure Dow's ecosystem is carbon neutral by 2050. Within our own operations, we are optimizing the efficiency of our operations, investing in renewable energy sources, and innovating low emission production processes. We are also collaborating with our customers to produce products that contribute to a lower carbon footprint. On sustainability, they say building on our 2025 sustainability goals. These targets put us on path to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, eliminate plastic waste in our environment, and increase our positive impacts on society, our customers, and our business. But again, I ask, what about water? In March of this year, it was reported New Jersey announced a lawsuit this week against the Dow Chemical Company and other companies for widespread contamination of drinking water by a potentially cancer-causing chemical. The state is accusing the companies of manufacturing, selling, and promoting promoting products containing 1,4-dioxane for decades in New Jersey, despite knowing the chemical was harmful and would pollute drinking water supplies. Considered a likely human carcinogen, these chemicals were primarily from the 19 used primarily from the 1950s through the 1990s as an industrial metal cleaner. Accordingly, the complaint, the chemical has been detected in groundwater samples at more than 490 sites throughout the state. This is just one of many stories over the years. So why pretend they are advocates of the environment? Good question. According to an article in Financial Times in August, A growing number of blue-chip U.S. companies are using environmental and social factors to decide bonuses for top executives. But investors are worried the metrics are being gamed to increase payouts. Three-quarters of the S&P companies have disclosed that environmental, social, and governance metrics contributed to executives' pay, up from two-thirds of companies in 2021, according to data from the Conference Board and Assage, an ESG data analytics firm. Among them, surprise, are American Express, trading on the NYSE, AXP, Dow, trading on the NYSE, Dow, and Southwest Airlines, trading on the NYSE, LUV. So it makes sense, and dollars, for the management of these companies, 
Put out bogus ESG reports, make your company look like an environmental hero, and pay yourself a big bonus. Investors beware and be aware. Invest in companies that are actually building and creating innovative, innovative clean tech and water solutions. That's who we should be investing in. That's who we should be betting on. If your company has a breakthrough technology in the water sector or the clean tech sector, and you'd love to be a guest, please reach out to me at 800-665-0411. We'd love to tell your story. We'd love to tell a positive story in our next edition. That's it for today. Do something great for this beautiful planet each and every day. To hear more Clean Tech podcasts, visit the Clean Tech and Climate Change page on Investor Ideas. You can find it on our top template. Also, Investor Ideas has a lineup of other podcasts and themes, including the AII, the Crypto Corner, our cannabis podcast called Cannabis News and Stocks on the Move, rated one of the top investor podcasts in the sector, Play by Play, a podcast looking at sports and esports news, and Exploring Mining. To listen to any of our podcasts, visit our podcast page on Investor Ideas at InvestorIdeas.com forward slash audio. And a reminder, you can hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and most audio platforms available to you. If you like any of our podcasts, we would appreciate you recommending them or reviewing them on your audio platform. And to help you follow and track clean tech and renewable energy stocks, Investor Ideas has created a directory of publicly traded stocks in the sector. You can find that by going to our homepage, looking on the sidebar and looking at renewable energy and environmental themes, and you'll find our stock directories there. Investor Ideas does remind all of investors to read our disclaimers and disclosures on our site. You can find them at InvestorIdeas.com forward slash about disclaimer dot ASP. It is important to read these. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investment involves risk and a possible loss of investment. Thank you again and have a great day.